What's up, everybody? Great morning, great morning. My name is Sinquel. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. And I'm coming to you guys today with one of my favorite green smoothies. It's also a protein smoothie. So if you're trying to gain some weight, trying to get a little thick, thick, or guys, if you want to build some muscle, this is the smoothie for you. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. You see all of my beautiful ingredients here. We have apple juice. We have to chewy, which is my protein. Nutriburst can't go a day without the Nutriburst, right? We got some mango and some pineapple, and we have kale. So first things first, we're going to just take a handful of kale, a small handful, not too much. Um, small handful of kale. Put it in your smoothie cup or your blender or whatever you're using to make your smoothie. I want a little bit more than that. Just a little bit more. And guys, there are no specific measurements. Um, with this green smoothie, it's more important the order that you put it in. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, you don't want to have too much kale because if you have too much kale, uh, the consistency will be this thick, leafy thing that you don't want. We don't want to taste like salad. You know, we don't want it to taste like salad. We don't want to taste the leaves like they came, you know, out the grass or off the tree. Um, the key is to, I don't know why I closed the top. The key is to get your greens in, but mask it with some, some really, really sweet fruits. Um, so there's a reason why I'm doing everything in the specific order. So you got your kale and then you want to pour in some apple juice, um, almost to the top of your kale, not completely covering your kale, but like almost, right? So put my kale in, pour my apple juice in, and then next you want to blend that only. And you're probably wondering why. Well, it goes back to what I said. If you blend it all together, you're still going to taste the leaves. It's going to taste like you just got it off the tree or like you just picked it out the grass. And that's not the effect we want. We want a nice, smooth texture. So that's why we're blending this part first, okay? Okay. Okay, I tend to like I like to give it a long blend because I don't want to taste no leaves, alright? I'm I'm drinking kale, but I don't want to know I'm drinking kale. I want it to be like a secret, right? So I like to let it blend for quite a while. That's why I had me a little dance break. <laughs> I mean, why not? You always know, gotta find fun ways to make the time pass. So let's just do a little taste test to make sure that we don't taste those leaves. Not bad, not bad. Mm. It's actually sweet how it is, for real, for real. I might have to come back one day and just do a completely green smoothie, nothing else. I don't know why I put the top back on. Okay, so now that we have our kale and our apple juice out of the way, let us go ahead and add our fruit. So we're gonna be adding the pineapple and the mango. And as I said before, it's no like specific amount. It just really all depends on how you like your smoothie to taste. Pineapple is a sweeter taste and mango has more of like a tangy, like sweet sour taste. Now I freaking love mango, okay? I'm all good with the tangy, sweet sour taste. Like I love for my smoothies to taste like that. So I'm gonna probably add more, just a little bit more mango than pineapple. Um, if you like yours to be more sweet, maybe add, excuse me, more um, more pineapple. And I might have put too much mango, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna just take one out. 
Mm -mm -mm. I love mango, y'all. It's my favorite. I'm going to add a little bit more apple juice. Just because I want a nice, smooth consistency. Here's a little trip, a trick. <laughs> I, I added tip and trick together. Trip. <laughs> anyway. Um, a little tip, if you want to be even healthier, if you want to be even healthier, don't use apple juice, use water, but you got to really be about that life. You got to really be about this healthy life. If you're not going to add any apple juice, because that's what really, really makes it sweet. But if you decide not to add apple juice and you just decide that, Hey, I'm gonna be really healthy and add the water. I would say add more pineapple because again, the pineapple is also a little sweeter. Um, so yeah. Now what I'm adding is my protein. So the protein that I use is called Tichui. Love, love, love this. Um, if you're trying to gain weight, if you want to be thicker, if you want to have more muscle, you need protein at the end of the day. Protein is what's going to help you achieve that thick look. And I'm trying to get, you know, a little thick, thick, thick. Hey. So that's why I'm adding some to Chewy. And it comes in a capsule form, but I just open mine up. You don't even have to open it up. I mean, you really can just throw it in. But I like to open it up. I don't know, I feel like I'm doing something special. <laughs> um, and you're really, the packaging says one a day, but I'm gonna have more than one because I'm trying to be thick, thick. Thick, thick, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can add however much you want. You can add however much you want, I mean, how thick you trying to be? That's the question. That is the question. So, adding my tachiri in, just like that. Now, what exactly is tachiri? You know it's protein. Um, it is spirulina, 100%, 100%, Jesus, I can't talk today. It is 100% spirulina. Spirulina is a plant-based protein, okay? Plant-based protein. Um, it's going to help me gain that muscle mass that I'm looking for. And then, I can't go a day without it. You already know. You already know what time it is, okay? Gots to, gots to, gots to add my Nutriverse, all right? So... I have added mine to Chewy. I have added my Nutriburst. Now, it's time to shake it up, baby. It's time to get in the game. It's time to show them what I'm made of. All right, so let's just blend it. well let's give it a taste mm. Woo! y'all this smoothie is bomb mm -mm 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 -mm. The only thing that I would say can be improved about this smoothie mm, Excuse me, the texture So I love to pack so much fruit And whatever else into my smoothies And I only have a really small cup So sometimes it ends up being a bit thick If you have a large blender Of course you won't have this problem 
you can put all the fruits and veggies you want and enough liquid and your consistency will be good you just have to play around with it i usually get it right this time i had a little too much fruit um so i'm just gonna re-blend that i like to be real fancy with it i like for this to be fun so look i'm gonna pour mine in a cute little glass Ooh, look at that and I can already tell the consistency is exactly what I want. And um, just make it a little more cute by putting some pineapple on that thing. You just gotta, you know. Ooh, this pineapple is so sweet. Put some pineapple on there, like so. smoothie mm. Mm. Woo! <laughs> it's really really good guys you definitely have to go try it for real for real one of my favorites the only thing that i didn't add that you should probably add is some ice you know ain't nothing wrong with a little ice i love a little icy taste um or what you can do is freeze your fruit and i usually do that i forgot to freeze my fruit last night but it's still the bomb.com okay so keep following me for more smoothies more meals and some really dope workouts all right guys